Rajesh with another video on fun math. Today we are going to discuss about differential of f of x to the power of g of x. f of x raised to the power of g of x. In previous video on differentiation, we discussed about product rule, quotient rule and chain rule. Of differentiation. Today let's discuss about how to differentiate f of x to the power of g of x. How to differentiate the function in the form of f of x raised to the power of g of x. Let's see. First let's imagine f of x to the power of g of x is a. f of x to the power of g of x is a. And now f of x to the power of g of x is a right now what happen if we apply logarithm on both sides or ln on both sides then you will get log f of x to the power of g of x is equal to log a right so here in logarithms the exponent comes before the logarithm right g of x into log f of x there is no need to mention base e is equal to log a here also there is no need to mention base e because base, if base is not mentioned it means that it has a base of e and converting this to exponential form what will happen if we convert this to exponential form you may ask why getting this g of x friend again to convert to exponential form but we are not converting it from the lhs we are convert, converting that from the rhs means by this term log a base e is equal to g of x log f of x right then a is equal to a is equal to this base e to the power of g of x log f of x e to the power of g of x log f of x it is the value of a now now a is nothing but f of x to the power of g of x, right? So f of x raised to the power of g of x is equal to e power g of x log f of x. There is no need to mention this much because if there is any variable a, you can write that like e power log a base e. But it will be nice if we explain how it has come, right? Now d by dx of f of x to the power of g of x this is what we need right we just need the differential of f of x to the power of g of x now we can replace this with this e to the power of g of x log f of x means it is d by dx of e to the power of g of x log f of x g of x into log f of x now if we differentiate this we should use the chain rule right because here e to the power of some function it is e to the power of some function means that is an another function right so you should do like d d by d g of x into log f of x of this right then if we do that you will get e to the power of g of x log f of x the same because derivative of e power x is e power x so I'll get this same e to the power of g of x log f of x and we applied chain rule right then we should differentiate this term also g of x log f of x so d by dx of g of x log f of x for this you can use product rule d by dx of u into v is u dash v plus v dash u where u dash is the derivative of u and v dash is the derivative of v right that is the product rule so first g of x into derivative of the second function and second function is log f of x right for this you should again apply chain rule right because there are two functions first one is this log function and f of x is another function so first differential of log f of x that is 1 by f of x into differential of f of x that is f dash of x we don't know what is differential of f of x, right? Still, we not declared the function. So, we should just write that like f dash of x. Plus, second function into differential of first one. We are in the product rule, right? 
So log f of x into differential of this g dash of x. As you can see, this is the derivative of f of x to the power of g of x. It is now here e to the power of g of x log f of x, right? If you see here, it is nothing but f of x to the power of g of x. So it is f of x to the power of g of x into g of x times f dash of x by f of x plus log f of x into g dash of x. You can't simplify this anymore. From this, you can solve many of the problems like cos, cos x to the power of sin x and you can try on your own different problems and interesting problems. Now let's see higher order derivatives. If f of x is a function, let f of x is a function, then d by dx of f of x is f dash of x, right? We know that. We'll represent that like f dash of x in an easy way. This is called as first order derivative of f of x or first order derivative. This is the first order derivative. The second order derivative means if you derivate this again, then we will call that as second order derivative. It is d by dx of f dash of x or it is f dash of x means it is d by dx of f of x, right? d by dx of d by dx of f of x to d by dx means you can represent that like d, d square by dx whole square f of x d square by dx whole square f of x and this is the second order derivative of f of x it is represented by f double dash of x means 2 dash or d square by dx whole square f of x or capital d square f of x similarly you can find third fourth and higher degrees third degree means you will represent with three dashes or here the powers will be three Fourth means here four dashes and here powers will be four and higher. Okay guys, this is for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you not, comment down below why you haven't. If you have any doubts, comment down below. I'll answer them in the next video.